How's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in to Multicast. And Gene, can you believe nope. we have never reviewed the Dickel on here? Why not? I have no idea. The Dickel Rye is a mainstay in the Rye Lover's Wheelhouse. If you love Rye, you've never had Dickel, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? So this is said to be, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm pouring whiskey? What am I pouring whiskey for? That hurts my hand a little bit. This just had the surgery. I realized my hand was hurting when I poured that. Like, why is my hand hurting? Look at hurting? you, now that I know you can do it. Nope, nope. I'll let you put that on there. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be about five years old. It's an MGP, it's a non-age stated, but said to be about five years old. Um, it's a 95.5, 95 95% 95 rye, 5% malted barley from MGP. Uh, this is probably still MGP juice because uh, they switched to Ross and Squibb uh, a while back. I believe it's a 45. Is it, am I correct it's a 45, Miss Jean? It's on here somewhere. I'm pretty positive it's a 45. Yes, it's a 45 ABV. It's 90 proof. Um, what you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? This is heavy spearmint. Like I'm wow. walking in a spearmint garden. I don't know who has a spearmint garden, but I don't know why you wouldn't. Spe we have a spearmint garden. And now I know where we get it from. <laughs> I don't know. This is spearmint. Yeah. This is lemon. It is like a nice little freshly cut lemon, and you. You're squeezing it over a big bushel of spearmint. You know how I know you never go in the backyard? <laughs> you don't know we have a spearmint garden, which we do for our beverages okay, sometimes. Okay, I'm allergic to absolutely everything well, outside. I don't go outside that often. Well, you're not a, a agoraphobic. Well, I don't go walking around the yard. Well, that's true. You don't go exploring. I don't go exploring. I go on the yard. back patio. I look at the flowers. I plant more flowers, and then I walk away. <laughs> I water everything. She plants, I water. <laughs> it's a thing. Oh, so yeah, uh, heavy rye nose, rye bread, rye muffins. Ooh. Rye muffin with some poppy seed. I told that to you earlier, and she's like, what's a poppy seed? It has no flavor. And it probably doesn't, but that's the, the mental image I get. Okay. When I nose this rye whiskey. Heavy, like a rye chips, which we just recently had some rye chips. This is rye. You, you go to them fancy, fancy deli thing, and they're like, what kind of bread do you want your sandwich served on? Because we have like all of rye. them. And you're like, oh, let's put them, try some rye bread. Mm -hmm. And they bring this really nicely cooked rye yeah. bread sandwich to you. I, when, anytime I go to deli, I always get the rye bread. I don't ever I get anything else. I know you do, which is how I know that this is a rye Boom, there piece you go. of nice, freshly baked, 100% agree. perfectly baked rye bread. 100% agree. Uh, and my favorite note to get in a rye, any rye, is clove. I get a little bit of clove in this, just clove. what I need. Yep. I'm having a go in. Have a go in. My nose is happy. <laughs> We're not supposed to go in at the same time. She mm. forgot that again, that's okay. Um, Heavy clove on the opening. Mm. Um, I would love to see a dickel out of barrel, barrel proof. I don't know if they do that or not, but I would love to see a dickel out of barrel proof. Uh, heavy, uh, nice clove, nice butter, heavy butter right now. Mm. That spearmint, that piece of rye, freshly baked bread, uh, mm -hmm. lemon. It's like that mm -hmm. that lemon candy, those those bowls, those lemon, lemon bowls drops. covered in sugar. Lemon drops, yeah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the peppers and the spices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. Spices. And if you're, we're getting with price here in a little bit, but if you don't have, if you like rye and you've not had this, honestly, get this. This could be a daily sipper for a rye lover. Easily. Or if you don't like rye and you've not tried this, go back. Yeah, go, go back. Rye. Go. If you've tried a rye and you didn't like a rye, oh, but I see. If you've not saying. tried this, yeah, then yeah, this satisfies everything you need as a, as a rye whiskey. Um, Yes, I'm gonna put two drops in it, which I don't usually do. Do that. Is that the way you like it? I always forget, you like it a certain way on yes. there. Is that the way you like yes, it? Yes, I like, like it like this. You've given me dirty licks from time to time. I, I know. I never remember. So when you put the drop, we have this dropper here, right? You can buy one of these off. Do you, we have these on our website or link to Not it? Not on our website, but we have a link in the vid all the video's descriptions to okay. it, yeah. So it's, it's a dropper, and if you put it on this way, it's too close to the, the water. But, I don't like it like well, that. The top of the dropper is a copper pot still. And it's got, it's, it's crystal. Anywho, that's my rant for the day. For the day, probably not. I'll probably do another one. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith. I have faith. Uh, water brought out a, lot of, a little bit more butter for me. 
Yeah. Uh, like whipped butter. I just like the nose. Mm. I just like the nose. Lots of clove now, more, even more clove. Lemongrass, rye bread. It's a solid rye. It didn't do much for the palate, the water. Mm. Like spearmint gum now. Got just a piece of spearmint gum. And spearmint taffy. It's almost like a, huh. like a mouthwash, but not quite as harsh as a mouthwash. I don't even know how to score this. I've had this so often, I don't even know what to give us. I haven't had it in a while, but over the years I've had this a ton, probably more than any other rye. Um, I don't even know what score to give it, Miss Jean. So I'm just gonna throw a number down. 87 for me. What'd you do, Miss Jean? I did 88. Kiss 88. 88. They kiss, kiss 88. 88. They kiss 88. Uh, and he got the belly button out. Yeah. One uh, belly button. One belly button. So we had a what? What? We had a whole conversation about belly buttons on a recent video. Yeah, I don't remember like, which one it was. Yeah. We have a buddy who is fascinated by people who have. Well, he was that one time. Yes. I don't know if that's. A, Anyway, shout out to Freddie Fister. Everyday thing. More power to you. Uh, so the best <laughs> thing, the best thing about this whiskey, in addition to its solidness, mm -hmm. is it's twenty five dollars. Gene, is this worth twenty five dollars to you? I have twenty four dollars written. Twenty four dollars. Who am I to say you're not as right as you think you are? Well, twenty four dollars. I sit corrected. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Is it worth twenty four dollars, Miss Gene? Oh yeah, it's worth twenty four. Yeah, this it's cheap enough. It can it's be even worth twenty five dollars. <laughs> Daily sipper. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you like ride, you haven't picked this up for $25, sorry, $24. <laughs> Look at it for $24. Uh, thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't like me. Uh, so think about subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that about you. You can get one of these shirts if you like them. Multicasting. All right, all right, all right. Come, multicasting.com. Yeah, I think we're actually going to switch from multicasting.com and switch that over to Amazon, which you didn't know about to just now. Learn something new every day. Every day. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. Oh, the hell of a clunk. Yeah, sing. Sing. Oh, uh,